Um, what is your name, age, profession, and where are you from? My name is Nicholas Scott. I'm 24. But I usually play kind of like 18 to 22, 23 on, you know, film and television and whatnot. Uh, where am I from? From, uh, actually from Lafayette, Louisiana. Yeah, I know Los Angeles. I'm a, I'm an actor and a cellist. Mm. So what do you like most about your job? What do I like most about my job? Um, I don't know. There's a lot of aspects I like. I get, uh... I get bored with things really easily, and so I really like in acting where you know you're never you're never doing the same thing twice in a sense. I mean, you might be playing a you know every role is different, and you can approach every role different. So while it's the same job, or I guess the same job description, the mm -hmm. actual job changes every time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and then as far as cello goes, I play with like four different projects that all kind of tap into something different for me. Um, so I think, yeah, I think the main thing that I enjoy the most is just kind of the diversity and the ever-changing, you know, way you can approach it. Um, and the way, you know, as, as you grow and as you learn with it, it starts to inform it in different ways. So, mm -hmm. it's fun. Yeah. And I mean, the opportunities are things that I get to do, you know, so, so often. Like, you know, different places that I play or different people that I get to work with, uh, acting wise. It's really inspiring to see people that are so incredible at what they do and just to be able to be around that. Um, which actor or actress did you most like working with? There's this girl that I actually just recently shot with. Uh, her name's Lexi Johnson. She was, she played my sister in one of the, the film that I just shot. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's just like, she was so honest about everything. In the sense of like her acting. Like, you could just, it wasn't, it didn't look hard. It looked so easy for her. Uh, just in the way she played the role. And she was just so like, so intensely focused. And she distilled the role down to such, such like a, uh, special, you know, select few things that you could just see those things come out every time, like every scene. Mm -hmm. um, and it was just like, I don't know, it was just really inspiring because for me, I find sometimes I'm a little too broad with what I play mm -hmm. or I'm a little too forced in how I try to play it. And just watching her, it just looks so effortless. And it's like she completely understood what her goal was every single day. Um, and yeah, so that was, that, that was really inspiring for me. Uh, We've actually kind of kept in touch, and she's, yeah, she's an amazing actress for sure. So. Cool. Okay, number four. Why did you want to be an actor? I don't know. It kind of happened serendipitously. Uh, growing up in Louisiana, I mean, it's not the most uh, progressively creative place, I would say. True. But I was always kind of, always a performer. You know, I started playing cello at the age of six. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I would put on, you know, recitals or shows at different places or, you know, play at the mall, like, during Christmas, and, you know, just always performing. Or, you know, I was always a kid who was doing comedy skits for family and friends and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, and I did a few theater things kind of in, like, middle school when I was younger. But, you know, mainly music was kind of my focus. Um, and then I started playing in the orchestra. Uh, the University Orchestra at, like, age 15, and uh, just always performing. And so when I got out to Los Angeles, it was mainly for music, and I just happened to go on an audition that I saw the first, you know, time I ever go on an audition. I had no clue what was going on. It was just like, yeah, this will be fun. You know, I show up, they, they give me the size, and I'm like, <laughs> all right, I don't know what to do with this. I guess I'll just read this with them. And I ended up booking the part, actually. Oh, wow. Um, and it was just so much fun. It was like, wow, is this really, like, do people actually get paid to do this? Like, this is amazing. <laughs> so, I, you know, from, I, I think that was, like, like I, I did that, I shot that, mm -hmm. and just instantly I started taking class at, like, three different places and just jumped into it fully, fully immersed myself into it. And, mm -hmm. yeah, I just kind of haven't looked back. It, it's just that kind of performance aspect, just putting yourself out there. Right. That, for some reason, I've always been drawn to. Which, it's weird because it scares the hell out of me. 
Uh, who would you pick to be uh, to act in a movie about your life? Who would I pick to act in a movie about my life? Yeah. Man, <laughs> I don't know. Like, who would portray me? You're saying right, like, right. Kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Um, let's see. I mean, I guess they kind of have to look like me, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to leave California, what is one thing that you would miss most? You know, honestly, I think my favorite thing about Los Angeles is its proximity to everything. Mm -hmm. You know, like, you can go, I remember one day I was snowboarding, I'm sitting there like 9,000 feet up, strapped into a snowboard, looking out over the Pacific Ocean, Mm -hmm. and it's like, I left there and ended up at the beach later. It's just like, how, how is this happening right now? Like, how am I, you know, so close to all of this? Yeah. So I think the proximity, you know, you can drive to the desert, you can go to this place. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, it's pretty amazing. But yeah, it's just, I mean, it's probably, probably just the proximity because, you know, like, I enjoy fishing, I enjoy camping and outdoors, and you can leave L.A. and go 45 minutes north and go camping or fishing, mm-hmm. hang out at the beach, you can go snowboarding. And it's just so amazing to have such, such rich... Uh, you know, opportunities so close to, you know, a, such a major metropolitan city. Mm-hmm. So. And you like those outdoor activities? Yeah, I, I mean, I grew up in Louisiana, you know, I uh, used to always go fishing with my dad, or, yeah. you know, backpacking and hiking and stuff. So I love the city, I absolutely love the city, but it's amazing to get away sometimes too, and it makes you appreciate it so much more. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, big okay. outdoors, yeah. <laughs> Um, what is your favorite TV show? Favorite TV show? Let's see. Well, I do, um, I think improv classes, I play this for good. And there's a couple shows, mainly, uh, The League. I don't know if you've ever seen it. No. Uh, it's got a lot of, it's got a lot of actors that have come up to the UCB. And the, the improv-based comedy that they do is just, so witty, it's so great. So I really like the league for just kind of its wit and its uh, its comedy. And then there's a show called Damages. Mm-hmm. It used to be on, I think, FX. I think it moved over to Direct TV. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it has like Glenn Close and Rose Ryan. And, like the acting is just, I mean, the acting will just blow your mind. Like I think it's probably the best show on TV, like for acting quality. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, those are probably my two favorite shows right now. Okay. Um, what is your favorite hangout spot? My favorite hangout spot? Yeah. Oh, man, I don't know. Where's my favorite hangout spot? Let's see. I'm trying to think, what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> I, go, I go to the gym and then I work. I'm trying to think of something else. Uh, I don't know, I like, I like walking around a lot. I like being able to, like, you know, walk, which is kind of ironic, I guess, in Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I live kind of near the Grove. 
Mm-hmm. So it's cool to just be able to kind of walk to the farmer's market and just, you know, kind of walk around the different shops mm-hmm. or, you know, just kind of like walk down Third Street. There's some amazing restaurants on Third Street. So probably just like this kind of, this kind of area here. Yeah. Or, there's, or like actual physical locations. There's a coffee shop downtown called Hanson Roasters. That's just like the most incredible coffee you've ever had in your life. Uh, and I like to spend way too much time there. So. That's cool. Probably those two things. What do you like to do on your downtime? I, when I'm not acting or I'm not playing the cello with different bands, I like to write music a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, I do some like you know some production and write a lot of kind of down tempo electronic stuff. Or um, you know just like honestly just hang out with friends. Like I have so many amazing friends out here that mm-hmm. it's so inspiring just to be around and hear what's going on with them so mm-hmm. i mean just like sit down open a bottle of wine and cook you know i love to cook love to cook from louisiana so uh yeah. open a bottle of wine cook a good meal and just hang out with friends uh it's a pretty great thing about what they do so okay um all right last one how many hours do you practice the cello and the bass uh a week or a day uh a week uh, let's see. Well, I mean, like this week I played two shows. Mm-hmm. Uh, I played a show at the Whiskey Go Go on Sunday, and then I had a show last night at Montage. Mm-hmm. And we probably had a couple rehearsals that were a few hours each. So, <laughs> so I don't know. Like with the show, what is that? Like fifteen hours already, and then just playing by myself, you know, whatever. So I don't know. With rehearsals and shows and everything. 20, 25 hours a week, probably. Wow. That's intense. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it's one thing to sit down and just play by yourself. Like, I don't know, that gets pretty boring. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, you know, when you're just, like, you're jamming with other musicians, you're playing. Mm-hmm. I mean, to me, that's, like, I've learned more playing with musicians than just, you know, trying to learn and playing by yourself kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So, Yeah. All right. Well, that's all the questions I have. Um, did you get any questions from fans that you wanted to answer? People just, a lot of people have been asking what my latest project is that I've been working on. Because um, I tweeted a few pictures. Right, that, right. But not. Uh, there's a project uh, it's called Dean's Well. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, it's actually a project I worked on with that girl. Uh, Lexi Johnson. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was uh, it's a brother and sister that kind of go through some things. They end up getting stranded in the desert and uh there's a twist at the end that I won't I won't ruin but Mm -hmm. um yeah it was written and directed by this guy Michael Williams who is just incredible director he's such an actor's director in the sense that he'll do a take and it's like he's like all right I love that let's try it this way but he doesn't you know his his critiques aren't ambiguous like I don't know go you know Think about a bird flying, and just like, what, what are you talking about? It doesn't make sense. Like, <laughs> these are like, you know, all right, so think about this, and then, you know, you want to, you want to go bigger here, and it's just like, it's so specific, and it's so great. Yeah. It's just, he always pushed us to find something more. Mm-hmm. Um, and I mean, the intensity in the movie is incredible, so I think that's supposed to be coming out in a few months, and it hits the film festivals and whatnot, uh, so I can... I'll keep in touch with you guys. I'll send you a link when I when it comes out. Okay, uh, that sounds good. You can give me. You can tell me what you think. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's the latest project I get at that. And then music wise, who I play cello with, uh, there's probably like four different projects that I play with. Um, one is so Lucy Walsh, mm-hmm. a singer songwriter out here. Uh, her dad's actually Joe Walsh from the Eagles. Um, so that's been pretty cool to play with her. She has, like, she has a really cool kind of, like, uh, she plays piano and sings, has kind of a little, folk, you know, more folky vibe. Uh, so she's actually one of the first people I ever played with out here. Mm-hmm. And then I play in in Oren Lion, which is, like, a tin piece. We have, like, a string trio in the band. Mm-hmm. They're, like, indie kind of arcade fire-esque. Uh, we just put out an EP last week that we're really excited about. And then uh, I've been playing with this guy, Chad Dork. We do a lot of, like, kind of more jazz-inspired standards, but I play the cello with that, which is kind of cool to bring my background of jazz on the bass mm-hmm. to the cello and kind of rethink some of the standards. 